Hello everyone! Kumusta? I have new orchids and this box and the orchids are from Sul Orchids of Davao. It is also from Mindanao so the shipping took only 3 days. Sul Orchids is having a sale and they have pure sandariana or waling-waling which is endemic to Mindanao, native to the Philippines. But I think they will be closing their farm, I'm just not sure. So if you are interested, just contact them through Facebook. I have opened the box and I also ordered some strap leaf vandas. I'm just not sure what's the ID because they don't have a list. So I just ordered the 800 pesos worth, buy one take one. So let's see what's the vandas that I got. So this is the first one and um, there are some patches on the leaves. So I guess I will be applying some fungicide just to make sure and I think the size is medium but they said that these are all blooming sizes so let's just see I see some active root tip and this is the ID and the price of this is 800 pesos buy one take one so this piece cost 400 pesos And this is the second one. The price of this is also 800 pesos by one take one. So this is 400 pesos. And I also see here an active root tip. So this is nice. And this is the ID. This is the third one and I ordered two sets of strap leaf vandas that are 800 pesos by one take one. They also have other prices like I think 1,000 and 1,200 all are buy one take one. So this is also 400 pesos for one piece. This is the ID. I'll try to find some pictures in the internet on how they look like because I only have IDs. This is the fourth one and I think this is not Sandariana. So this is the last strap leaf that I ordered. And the metal wires are already rusty so I'll just replace the wires. This is the ID and just like the others, this cost 400 pesos for one piece. This is the order sheet or invoice and I paid a total of 2,700 pesos. I think this is the Sandriana and I paid 1,000 pesos by one take one. So two pieces of Sandriana for 1,000 pesos. And this is the first Sandriana. There are also some spots on the leaf so later I will soak them with fungicide.
this is the other Sanderiana and I had Sanderiana before but I lost it due to Fusarium and I hope that these two will grow well. So these are the two Sanderianas that I ordered and paid for 1,000 pesos for two pieces. So these are all of the orchids that I got from Seoul Orchids. For the strap leaf, you can't choose what ID because they don't have a list but they will send you assorted strap leaf. They also have bigger sizes which also cost more. And now I will soak the orchids with this fungicide and I learned this from one of our orchid groups. They advise that whenever you have new orchids in your collection, you can soak them with fungicides so that they will be clean or at least you can lessen the chances of bringing new diseases in your orchid collection. And together with the fungicide, I will add Orgamin DA. I will also soak them with Orgamin DA. This is a fertilizer and nutrition booster. The orchids were dehydrated because of the shipping, so this will help them. So I will soak them with Orgamin DA and fungicide. I have prepared 20 liters of water and I mixed 1 tablespoon of Orgamin DA and 1 tablespoon of fungicide. This is not organic and you should be very careful when doing this. As you can see here, I used gloves and I put a mask on. I also have other video about New Orchid's first home treatment. I did not use fungicide and if you want other option, you can check that video. And if you also have other recommendation or suggestion about anything like this, please feel free to add in the comments. I will really appreciate it. I will leave them here soaking for one hour and after that, I will rinse them with water for safety. And then we will replace the rusty wires. And now I will show you how to replace the rusty metal wires. And I have already cut the thinner wires and I will reuse this one, the hook or the thicker metal wire or aluminum wire because I don't have this thick and I will just remove this, the rusty ones. I will use metal plier or plies. I will remove this one first. This is coiled or tied. So I will just remove this first. And now I will remove these pieces, the ones that I have cut. And done. So this part is also rusty because of those thinner wires but I can just clean this and reuse. I have one here that is not rusty at all so I will use this first. I already cut two pieces of 40 inches long of metal wire or aluminum wire. You can make it shorter or longer but for now this is the length that I want to use and I will fold these two in half. I also use gloves so that I won't hurt my hands. I have fold this in half and I will insert this to the hook or to the thicker wire.
and then I will press this with metal pliers so that they will lock and I will also um, tie this with thinner metal wire I have here a thinner wire that I will use to tie them together. You can also use a soft wire. So I'll just make a coil or I will just tie them together so that they will not move or they will lock. This is done and this is how it will look like. I will now place this to the basket. I will remove the remaining wires in the basket first. I have removed the wires and now I will trim the roots, I will remove the dead roots and I have a video about that on how to trim or cut the dead roots of your Vanda orchid. I will include the link of that video in the description so that you can check that out. I will continue doing this and I will just show you after I'm done. I am done and I broke some roots because I inserted them into the basket. And now I will place the wires or I'll insert this into the basket. I folded the ends about 2 inches each. So I'll just insert the first wire here and the others to the other holes. And press the ends upwards. And this is done. So this is now our Vanda basket or Vanda hanger. We just replace the wires and reuse the basket and the hook. I will also cut the leaves that has spots. And they are all done. I have replaced all of the rusty wires. I also replaced the basket of this Sanderiana and I've transferred their ID tags here on top. I also trimmed all of their roots and I also cut some of their leaves. So these are now all of the orchids that I got from Sul Orchids Davao. Thank you for being with me. Thank you for watching. Maraming salamat. Paalam. See you in my next videos.